Hey y'all. So flashback to me vlogging on my phone. I actually missed this in the convenience of it, but um, I decided that I'm doing like these quick vlogs again. So it's not so much on me trying to export, import, and transfer videos over to my iPad. Send everything from my um, camera to my iPad um, because I'm gonna be honest with you, that is what I've been struggling with lately. Um, and being consistent and trying to like edit everything because I have so many videos that I have to edit still um, because I have keep, I keep running into issues with trying to export everything to my iPad and the storage and the camera and the charging out and how long it's, it's just, it's a mess. But anyway. Basically, as you can tell by the title, it's my first, um, it's my first day. <laughs> Let me just say, I just left this coffee shop. I'm gonna put my little, I like to do like little cute um, TikToks and stuff like that on my like spam TikTok. Um, but I just left this really, really cute coffee shop. Um, it's called Down Under because it's like literally like down under some stairs and it's super cute, super like small, chill. I sat in there for about an hour. Y'all, y'all gonna see in this, y'all see in this vlog, um, me working. I'm like turned up. This is my first day having coffee in like two weeks. I'm I'm teed up right now because I had coffee and it was some good coffee. But anyway, so as you can tell by the title, I'm basically, um, this is my first day down in the city. First day of work, not doing um, a client necessarily, but I'm getting my, oh, she's cute, super cute. I'm getting my um, salon key. I'm uh, basically going to get like products for this location so I can just leave down here. Um, at first I was gonna try to like take what I need from, but I was like, girl, no, like that don't make sense. Just go get your stuff that you need for this location. Um, so I made me a little list or whatever. Um, I meet her at four o'clock. Right now it's two o'clock. I did go and view some apartments. I didn't add that in there because I really like, it's. We're not gonna do all that. We're not gonna get into the tea because it has nothing to do with business and branding and marketing and whatever. It has nothing to do with nothing. But I did go view some apartments too. Um, so I'm gonna go meet the salon owner at four um, and maybe show y'all a little bit of the salon. Um, and then I'm gonna go and run my errands, grab what I need for the uh, shop go back kind of stock my little area up so i'm ready to go tomorrow i have two clients um one is getting a color service and then the other one is getting braids one of them I'm ne i've never done i know of her but i've never done it before um so she found me through facebook like once i started promoting she booked um like i said she's never booked with me before i'm not sure if she actually stayed down here or she stayed closer to where i live now I'm thinking she stayed closer to here though because she booked like soon as my booking link went live um she booked within that week so that was good my second client she booked um one time before at the location where I stay now um so she will be a returning customer I want to say she's closer to this location but so I'm just kind of giving you an idea like where clients are coming from like that's my goal um and I will say like so far i only have four appointments booked for the month of august and my books have been open now for about a week or two weeks at this point um so that's real slow like i'm like if this was just my only you know job right now like i wouldn't be working a lot i would have a lot of time on my hands but i did have another girl book but she booked for another date and then there was like a, a a time discrepancy type situation i'm not sure her name looks familiar but i'm not sure who this client is um if i've ever done her before but she ended up canceling however because the, the time just didn't work um and then i have the third appointment that i have but she actually came to me like a month and a half ago she's a new client she came to me about like a month and a half almost two months ago um but she booked for a service takedown at the end of this month. So that's where she came from. And like I said, I'm gonna try to keep y'all updated like where 
where am I actually getting my, like my clients from? Like, how are they finding me? How am I finding them? Um, my next goal is to work on my booking site, as deposits, deposits goals, and like my add-on services and stuff like that, like color, lint, um, deep conditioning treatments. Um, that's my goal. And I will say, like I said, I, I haven't been doing everything in my power to like promote myself like accordingly. I haven't done any like promotional advertising where I've paid to um, have my post advertised for this location for this area um, but that's also something that I want to do so I'm gonna do that later on um, I haven't printed out like no flyers or no um, like deals or special I have some business cards on me but I don't have like my stack of 500 business cards um, to share with people I don't have um, a lot of business cards on me so also have to do that which i'm gonna bring them down tomorrow when i come and just leave them at the salon so like when i do have free time I just go to a couple of stores that's around the area of the salon and just leave some business cards or just so y'all like i'm just gonna wing it um and i will say this too i'm not nervous because i spoke about this in a previous video about how like be aware of what type of clientele you are actually like you actually want to attract and the type of clientele you are bringing in so i know for a lot of like it's a bigger city it's a bigger area so it's all types of people and everybody want their hair done everybody is looking for like the next new stylist or like the next good stylist and stuff like that so whereas i feel like i will get like a lot of girls interested or seeing me and like liking my work enough i don't think i'm just going to by doing the by doing these methods i don't think just anybody is about to like start booking me that's one fear that I always have like subconsciously, but what makes me kind of like okay and feel comfortable is because I do require a deposit. And, uh, and like that makes a good percentage of clients run. Like some people just do not <laughs> with deposits. Like some people just do not deal with deposits. Um, they don't believe in it. They're not spending their money. If they don't know who you are, they don't even know like if you're credible just yet, like they just not gonna do it. Some people can look at the, you know, at the page at my work and look at like my website and see like, oh, she like legit do hair. Like this is a stylist. You know what I mean? Um, just by looking at my profiles. But I feel like that's kind of gonna get me like, that's gonna also attract the clientele. Like once they go to my profile and see what type of stylist I am, that's kind of gonna like, encourage those who i hope to book book um versus just anybody i mm -mm, because i don't like that's why i stay away from walk-ins um i don't accept like same day appointments unless it's like a situation where like the owner or like somebody that i work with by ex exceptions only like literally like if the owner was to be like hey i got a client who want x y and z are you available something like that as far as walk-in i'll do anybody just coming off the street talking about they need their hair done no ma'am no ma'am not happening i'm not doing it because it's like it's more of a risk than anything like i'm not doing it um i'll do a consultation i'll do a consultation with you girl i'll talk with you for about 10 15 minutes 20 if we having a good convo but i'm not doing um walk-in appointments uh because that's honestly like how you just kind of protect yourself from doing a a service and then having a client like you don't know like dispute the charge or give you fake money or be difficult or like it mm -mm, say about that say about that but yeah so right now i'm on my way to i'm gonna try to find um like a cosmo prof a salon centric or something so i can get like my shampoos my like coloring products um and things like that and then i'm gonna head to the shop it is i do have two hours till i meet her so if i can get as much stuff as i like can get i will so i can just take with me um but yeah that is what's on the agenda um but i think it'll be kind of fun if i like do it day by day starting out just so i can literally like make it more detailed and make it like more like i just want to like keep y'all updated because i don't want to get behind um so y'all gonna be seeing like phone vlogs and camera vlogs camera videos and like phone video like it's just gonna be a mix because i'm trying my best and i want to keep y'all like in the loop as like things are happening so i'm excited i'm really really excited i'm so happy to be here i when i tell y'all i just love the energy of like being in the city i'm not like i love the energy of being in the city like i i, I just keep like obsessing over like the feeling i'll have like living here like i want to live in the city um and i work about the salon is like 20 minutes 
out from where I actually want to like stay. So I'm super, super excited. I just love the vibe. It's a gloomy day, but I still feel like I'm getting shit done. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like, okay. And this is literally something that like, I feel like I need it. Like I needed a shift in my career, so to speak. And I feel like this is going to put like fire under my ass. Like I'm going to be excited going to work Monday through Thursday. And then on the weekends, I'm going to be in the city. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just so ready i'm so excited to see what it'll bring i'm like so like excited because of the places i went to go see the last place i went to see it was like a whole little like um it was like a whole little community they had like over 60 floor plans y'all they had like five different buildings i thought i was just going to go see one building with lofts girl they got like six buildings with lofts um and all different like um layouts and like uh vibes but they all are lost you got more that's like industrial you got more that's modern like when i tell you so freaking cute so yeah once i make it to my next destination i'll definitely tap back in um and then i'll probably also show y'all a little of what i got like what i basically am starting out with um how much i spent um i am on a budget um because whereas i'm trying to invest because i'm expanding i also have to like do saving and like actually be serious with myself because i have to get ready to move um so i want to come like fully loaded as as much as possible um but it's just one of me on top of like trying to do this and having the bills that i have to pay right like it's 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 a lot but it's fun and it's gonna be worth it so i'm just staying optimistic and i'm staying like in good energy good spirits um because i'm just so excited um and yeah i will see y'all later i'm gonna just keep talking because this coffee baby it got me on 10 it got me on 10 i ain't mad at it though i'm not mad so i'm gonna see y'all later i'm gonna tap back in peace out All I've seen. All I've seen.